Alrighty, I get asked this quite a bit. Uh, what do you do if you're doing a panograph and your thread breaks in the middle of the design, in the middle of the quilt? What do you do? So this is what you're going to do. This is also what you're going to do is if you're just doing just quilting, not even just a panograph, anything, and your thread breaks mid-design, instead of ripping the whole thing out, this is what you're going to do. So check out the video. And if you like these videos, make sure that you check out the Quilters Groove Design Society. This is where all of this stuff is housed. We've got great classes, a great community. So you might want to check that out too. All right, check out the video. Alrighty, so this came up the other day. Um, make sure you check out my video on starts and stops, but let's say you are doing a pantograph or um, a, some, some sort of design and your thread breaks mid-design, right? So I can't really simulate a thread break, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. So let's just say we're doing, and I'll have my stitch regulator on, we're doing, a pantograph and let's say up oh, thread break I'm gonna just simulate said thread break so let's do um, top thread breaks so my bobbin said thread is still attached so we're gonna move away and then we're gonna pull our bobbin thread up just like we would if we were burying our threads so we're going to pull that up, clip that. Now what we're going to do, let me just move that all the way away. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull our thread up. That didn't work very well. It broke. I don't like this needle. So we're gonna pull up enough of our thread that we can. I'm not sure why that's not pulling up. There we go. Now we're gonna get it going. Pulling up enough of the thread that we're gonna be able to bury the thread. So we're gonna have to go back kind of far So I have a long enough bobbin thread here. There's actually a knot right on there. Don't want that. I'm just gonna snip that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie these together. I don't want it all the way at the bottom. And then my self-threading needle. And I'm going to go back in. And just like when we were doing our burying our threads, you want to go only into the batting. And we're going to pull it through. Snip. Then when you go to start, you're starting back on that line. And... Away we go. And then you bury these threads as you would in hand quilting. So again, when you're doing your pantograph or anything, you've got to get back far enough that you can actually bury the thread. And then you shouldn't be able to see your start and stop. 